All right, so this version of the Fripple is uh, made to float a little higher. It's also a brown drake, and I've used it to imitate a caddis as well. So we'll start off with the uh, hot spot. We do. Just a few wraps and a whip finish. That's all you need. We'll grab our main light brown thread. Beauty of this one, you could make them in green for green drake, green caddis. Doesn't matter. They will take this for a caddis. You can vary the wing color, the body color. It's a pretty good all around pattern. So right here above the hot spot, we're gonna tie in our uh, midge flash. It's gonna use for the ribbing. And then we wanna taper the body a little bit. So we'll just use thread to build up a good gradual taper from there to the thorax. And I like to rib that with the midge flash. Now we'll set the hook back to its normal position. And I like to take some Loon UV Clear Fly Finish and give the body a coating. Helps protect it from trout teeth because it'll break that midge flash. And it also helps that this bottom section to hang down in, in the water so it doesn't the whole thing doesn't float. That's what we're after. And we just give it a zap to cure it. Alright, so now that we've got the orientation of the flat part of the hook perfectly horizontal, what we're going to do is we're going to tie in our other materials just above the hook point here. So this, the one thing we're going to do differently with this as opposed to the other uh, fripple versions we've done is this is going to use some CDC. This is a bulk CDC from Montana Fly. Uh, it's going to give it some extra floatant. You can use this in faster water, whatever. We get three of these CDC feathers and you stack them, align the tips. Okay, so this section right here on the, the shank of the hook is going to be where we tie in all our materials. And I don't want anything really extending past the, the back of the hook, just as a gauge for how long these need to be. So I'm going to give this CDC about that much length to the back of the hook. A couple wraps. Now I'm going to fold this back. Grab it kind of creates a loop there. And just tie over that. Now I can come up here, just straight across, cut off that CDC like so. So the idea with the CDC is just an underwings, give it a little bit more uh, flotation. But we're also going to use some elk hair. This is cow elk in brown. Not a really big clump. Okay, I've cleaned and stacked the clump. I'm just going to keep that pointed the direction it goes, pull it out. Same length here, roughly, and we'll just tie that in right on top of that. Now when we do that, this deer hair has a tendency to twist on us around the hook shank if we're not tight. So we'll just do this little trick that Cheech does with his deer and elk. And that binds more of the fibers on individually so that it will not spin on us. Okay, now I'll just grab this, trim it in there pretty tight. And I'll go back over this, the tag ends, and just kind of bind them in there. Just making sure. Alright, so next we're going to tie in our loop. And the loop is just going to consist of some monofilament tippet that I just double over. And we'll just tie that right in, right in front of the deer. The mono's pretty slippery, so tighten it up. 
And then we're going to take some of this awesome saddle. It's a, a Hebert Miner uh, from Whiting, it's a Speckled Badger. Uh, this is awesome because it's a, it's a perfect drake color, perfect calabatus color, and a great caddis color to boot. So we'll just tie that in right next to our uh, mono loop. Okay, now those will sit out of the way for a minute. Okay, the next thing I've done, like the all the fripple styles that we have, this is part of the main point of it, take some of this medallion sheeting, cut it in kind of a wingy shape, and then create a little bow tie out of it. And then we're just going to tie this figure eight style right on the top of the hook here. All right, you want it something like that, just spread out. Again, the idea is it's going to be a cripple. Okay, and then in order to uh, cover up the thread wraps, we're just going to get some dubbing. And I use this ice dub in pheasant tail. And you just need barely enough to cover the thread. We're not going to build up much bulk here. And we'll start lightly right in front of the deer. And then move to figure eight. So it's going to look like that. Now with your thread right behind the eye of the hook, we're going to take the loop the mono loop and you put your index finger in it like that and then we're going to hold it up there and now we're going to start wrapping using your left hand and the other fingers you have on your right hand up the mono loop as we go and we want to get just as high as we are from the eye of the hook which is right there and then we're going to go back down That's the nice thing about these whiting saddles. You can do five or six flies with just one and it's still long enough to use. Okay. Now you're gonna hold the saddle the hackle when you get back there and use a material clip and it's gonna pull that down. And now I can tie off my hackle in front. A couple of wraps. And now I'm gonna grab all this stuff and just pull it up. Secure that in front. Then you can clip off your hackle. Okay, now we want to build a little bit of room so that we can tie down this hackle. So what we'll do is we'll just take our fingers and preen the hackle fibers up. And then I want to pull that down just to make sure I've got enough room. And I do this a couple times, it kind of train the hackle fibers. And it also helps me understand which way it might twist if it's going to twist, and then I can correct it before I just tie it down right off the bat. So then I'll come back up in here. Really tight pinch with your left hand. Don't let it go. And then do a couple of wraps right behind the eye. And now you can pull your loop and it's going to snug that hackle right back into there. And now we're going to pull everything up, including the loop. And I will throw a few wraps in front of the loop there, lock it in. And then I can get in there and snip that loop. And then we'll just build up the head and whip finish. And there's our higher floating Bur Drake, brown Drake, caddis, fripple.